اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم At one time we would only export one particular output to an excel sheet. Now in order to solve that issue we can use our markdown to export sem in our output. Now what is our markdown? The R markdown package helps you create dynamic analysis documents that combine code or rendered outputs such as figures, tables. You bring your data, code and ideas and R markdown renders your content into a polished document. R markdown documents can be rendered to many output formats including HTML documents, PDF, Word files, slideshows and more, allowing you to focus on the content while R markdown takes care of your presentation. Well, if it's not automatically installed in your system, you can install it by using this code here in your console or from tools install packages just type in R markdown. The code will be shared in the description as well. Now, how do we do this? Obviously, if you go to Tools, Install Packages, and here you write R Markdown. And then if you press Install, it will install it. Otherwise, you can go into the console and just type in install.packages and type in R Markdown. And this will help you install the R Markdown package. Now once it is installed, the first step is go to file, new file and R markdown. So we have to create a new R markdown file in order to export our data. So whatever code you have previously written or whatever code you write in the future. And if you want to use R markdown, you have to create or write your code in this R markdown file. So you click on here and then let's give it a title. Let's name it first. And I want a word format and press OK. Now here is your output file that is created. Now this is a sample output. It is a sort of a template. Let's look at this first. Now we do not run our code in this case. What we do is we knit the code. In this case let's say knit on save and we've already knit to word because we have already mentioned here look at this that it is going to be a word document. Now let's save it. So where do you want to save it? Let's save it here. Now it's running. Now look at this. This is your out output file, your first output file in Word document. So everything that you wrote in here as part of your markdown document is exported in this Word format here, like this. Now how do you do this for a sem in R code. Let's have a look at that. Now let's write our first R markdown file using seminar. Let's remove all this code here. And obviously we need this code here just to tell the R document or R markdown that I'm going to use a word document as an output file. So let's look at this. Let's do a previous one which I did in the last session. Let's use this one. Okay. I've already uh, made a code here in my R markdown file, but I'm just going to use the same code and copy it into the other document step by step. So let's say I've got this code here. Let's copy this code and let's paste it here. Now this here is your chunk. This is referred to as the new code chunk. Now in our markdown we've got chunks of code. So it's always or rather it's a good practice to have separate chunks of code. Now what do you mean by this echo is equal to false? This means that this code will not be displayed in the word document. And since it's a R code, so you just type in R here. Now if you run this here, let's see what happens. Okay, let's not knit on save because uh, the word document will open whenever you knit on save. Now the next step, no errors here. If you look here, there are no errors, no problems. Let's add the next block of code. Let's add our measurement model and let's add our structure model as well. 
let's paste it now you can select all and then save it and you can knit it as well just to see if there are no errors okay no errors for now now let's go back here okay now see the output file is empty yet now let's do so if you knit it obviously you will be provided with the word document now let's have our estimation done and a few tables generated or some output generated so we copy it and we paste it here now first have a look now this is the same code that we've been writing all along just estimation of the model generating over summary now this is something new here now i want two tables to be generated and exported to the word document one is for loading the other one is for htmt now let me do one in front of you let's say i want to knit so now this is the command that we use to produce a table in our markdown knit r then column twice and then i want a table so i write cable k a b l e now what do you want to output let's do summary underscore simple at the dollar sign and within the validity i want foreigner and locker criterion so fl the format is pipe let's say i want the pipe format there are different formats um, you can look on the r markdown tutorials available on internet with respect to cable and that the, the function that we use to produce tables there is latex format and there are other formats for now let's just use this simple format is equal to let's i want three digits if you want four you can have that as well and then we can have the plot as well and again same case we generate the plot for our estimated model and we can save the plot in our folder now let's run this and see if we get any error now let's save it and let's knit it now execution halted it's asking to have this text as well at your description of the r markdown file here so what you do is you simply add this text here this text here just copy it and if you are generating seminar output just have this text at the top of your document when you are doing it for a word document now let's select all let's save it let's knit it so no error now and you will have your output now look at this the table is here the first table the loading table this is now this is your corner and locker table and finally you will have your htmt table just the way we want it now all tables in your word document you can format them structure them the way you want and use it in your data analysis now where is my figure so if you go back to your folder you will have myfigure.png where is it here it is so you can insert it into the word document although i'm getting some error while i'm putting it in but still you can import it later whenever you want because it will be exported to the folder now let's move on let's do for our bootstrapping let's do some bootstrapping and export the results again let's see here so now this is bootstrapping let's write echo is equal to false i do not want the code to be exported to the word document and let's have the bootstrapping done and export our results so let's select all save it let's knit it now i'm going to have my bootstrapping results in the form of table here paths the total paths you can have other output as well just the way we have discussed the different outputs previously in different sessions the objective of this session is not to focus on the output rather how to get the output in the word document and again you can have your bootstrap model as well now here is the output after running the bootstrap procedure let's look at the tables here they are now here is your bootstrapped output you can just format it structure it the way you want and use it for your data analysis and results section again you can get this output just by using this knit r 
code with the cable and put in the output that you want from the summary object with this comma separated pipe and then the digits again where is my plot here it is boot underscore model here is your plot which you can import in your word document now moving on we can do the same thing with higher order constructs just the same code we can have our higher order constructs and we can have the same knit r code to generate the output in the word document the same bootstrapping and one more thing let's say we have mediation model so this is the function that we use for mediation now you can put the output from your mediation that is a specific effect significance function into an object this is what i have done and then you can put that output like this in the word document here like this so what i've done is i've used the specific effects function here whatever output that we get from this function is stored in this object and this object here is put in this particular function to generate the table here it is independent im isq op now let's run it now here is the output with higher order constructs the same thing and the tables now here is the table again you can format it again your specific indirect effect summarized in the form of a table similarly you can do it for any output that you get from seminar code you can put it in the tables using this code here and then export it to word document now where are your models here they are look at this now your model exported in png format i hope this video would have helped you understand how to use our markdown to produce your output and export it into a word document Thank you very much.